Welcome traders. In this video we're going to go over a new Bloodhound template that Zone Trader Pro is pleased to announce. Um, what we have done differently is that I have gone and taken the Bloodhound charts and I've added a few charts to the Bloodhound template. And now what's really interesting is that rather than just looking at a green or red racing stripe on the chart, we're actually going to use the Bloodhound histogram down on the bottom to actually give us an idea of how strong or how weak our trade is going to be. So I'm running two versions of it. There are going to be several versions and including versions for the NQ and the QQQs. So in this version, what I'm doing is I have one template over here, which I call the 25 ESR. And over here, I have the 25 ES. Now, what is unusual and different about this is going to be our use of the histogram down on the bottom of the charts that you see here. In previous videos, what the purpose of the Bloodhound template to do was to tell us if as we were approaching a trade and we had spider divergence as we do over on the left hand chart and these charts are from Friday morning if we had divergence and we had the VIX going in our favor in the past back here that we would be set up for trade and what is different now is that these real-time templates are giving us real-time signals at highs and at lows you can see we got the red signal to sell up here at this high right here and we were green down here at this low and the same thing applies for the 25 second uh, ESR chart over here what's interesting about the R chart is that you see these long periods where the entire time the template just stays either green or red and I'm gonna go over the week with you but what is it really important to understand here is how the histogram is basically working okay what we're doing here and we're reading a green histogram here and a green histogram here because half of the charts that go into the template are referencing tradable instruments related to the ES. The ES itself is of course one of those. The other half are going to be the indexes that make up the VIX. So that's why we're getting these percentages down here. Now what is really interesting and what is exciting about this is that it's very simple to determine whether or not the red here is being caused by the VIX or whether the red is being caused by just the pullback in the tradable instrument, in this case the ES. So obviously from this point to this point, the ES was selling off and so that's why we lost the green stripe basically through here. So we can then deduce that if bars are not green because of the pullback right here, then the remaining 50% of the strategy, which is the VIX part, is green and is going with the trade. And you can see this is why I use two different versions is here we were not even tracking any of the pullback on this chart right here. Thus we were getting the real time signals here in green when the ES started to turn up right there 
and when the ES started to turn down right here. So makes it very interesting. Here's a very good example of how we can use the software to our benefit. Here we were in a strong trend. We have a strong trend pattern buy right here and that takes us to an exhaustion pattern right here. Now, what is really interesting is that during the last three to four points of the ES move, we were receiving a red sell signal as prices going higher. Now, what that is telling us is that the VIX at this point is going against us. So I've changed the template to the 25 ES and we can see that even clearer. The only greens that we are getting down here in this last move are the greens that are associated with price on the ES going higher. That means that all of the reds that we see down here, the 50% reds, were coming from the VIX going against us. And when we had the red bars, that was a combination of the VIX in our favor and the ES in our favor. First going for this exhaustion trade, good for a little over six points, and then for a reversal pattern here, good for six and three quarter points. And again, what is just so interesting about this template is we are getting these signals in real time and it's very easy to tell once you've been dealing with this for and, and looking at this for just a small amount of time if the bloodhound histogram is giving us red because it is the VIX going against us in this trade right here or if it's red just because the price is going with us. So that's some very important real-time information if you were in a trade. Before I get into what these trades did last week, what I want to do is I want to do a quick refresher in case you are new to Zone Trader Pro and don't understand the divergence signals. So a real quick refresher. We have regular divergence that is occurring here. And that is simply price is lower, but the cumulative is higher. Now, for me personally, I no longer take this type of trade. The trades that I am interested in are what are called distribution and accumulation. And here we see an example of distribution. And here is an example of an accumulation trade. The second type of trade that I'm interested in is called special divergence. Special divergence is when price is lower, but the delta for the move was higher. So for instance, on this 12 point move down, $1.20 in the SPY, the delta was actually a positive 76,000 shares. And in this special divergence right here, the delta was positive by 81,000 shares. So those are the trades that I'm interested in and I'm gonna take a look at what we did last week. Now, the key takeaway from this is of course, the disclaimer that past performance is not indicative of future results. And I'm not trying to get every single high or low. Just because there is a green signal here and it does go a significant distance, I am taking a structured trade only that is based on the VIX and the divergences the two divergences that I talked about. Let's take a look at the last week 
and there was only four trading days and the system did some amazing results and let's look at them. So here's what I mean by not taking just anything because the screen turns red or the screen turns green. On the open on Tuesday, we immediately went red and we sold off almost 10 points. We then got this pullback right here, which gave us our first trading opportunity and we went short. That was good for about 15 points. We got a second distribution trade here. That was good for about 10 points. We got a shortly thereafter a third distribution trade, good for 12 and a half points. And then we got another distribution short trade, but we're going to be coming to the bottom right here. And this trade was only good for six and a half points, followed by another distribution trade that was good for about seven points. And as you can see, I am showing you both templates, uh, but referencing the signals being given on the SPY. So here would have been our first loss. Right here, we would have had this distribution short signal, which went non-divergent. That is what the blue line means right here. So we definitely would have been in the red right here, indicating a short trade. So we would indicate that as a loss. Our next short trade is right here. And then we actually come to the lows of the day. And we did have a distribution short trade right here. However, in real time, we were now being told that the VIX and the ES were both going in our favor. So we would not have wanted to take that trade. And this comes to our first long, legitimate long trade, which is right here. I do want to note though that this is a trade that we would not have taken because of course we're solid red on both charts. But this is an exhaustion pattern right here. And it is what is marking the eventual low. And what is will eventually mark the high as this trades up something like 30, 35 points. But here's our first long trade from right there. And we're gonna take a loss right after that because we have a distribution short divergence pattern plus we were trending all red right as we were getting the signal so we are going to lose that trade right there we had a bad tick here and that's resulting in this long signal right here but just because it's a bad tick doesn't mean we're going to count that as a trade our next long trade is from here and this is where we want to look to see what the VIX is doing and what the chart is doing. So we were green going into the high here. And then as we came off, the bloodhound green part stayed green, telling us the VIX was still with us. And the red is just as a result of this natural selling that's going to take place. So we have a long trading pattern here. This is what differs from the old version of the software where we didn't know at this point if the VIX was still in our favor or not. But because we can see in real time what this is doing right here and what this is doing right here, well, half of the charts, and we can see that again over here, half of the charts are red, and we would expect that because of the selling, and then the other half are green, which we are going to expect because the VIX is still with us. And then we go into the end of the day. 
Following day, same thing happens at the open. We get some signals, but we're not going to be taking any of these until we get to this short signal right here. That was good for 16 points. We have a second short signal here, good for about 12. And then a, sh a third short signal here, only good for about three and a half points. And it's very important to mention also that what you need to do is you need to create a trading plan that not only addresses an entry, but addresses an exit. So what do you do here when you've got three and a half points in the bank, but you're being given this special divergence signal right here? Nothing to tell you down here that you should be getting out, but it's something that has to be thought about and thought about before you actually enter a trade. We next have a accumulation buy signal here. And again, we had the 50% of Bloodhound going with us. And over on the other chart, it was actually also accumulation there. And we had real time signals at the lows over on that chart. That takes us up about another 18 points where we come into another special divergence pattern with the VIX going for us. That was good for about seven and a half points. And this is the trade I was illustrating at the beginning of the video, where once we got into this trade, suddenly everything, including the VIX, is going against us as the market is slowly creeping higher. So over here, Basically, where it's white, what that is saying is the VIX is against us, but the ES is going higher. But everywhere you see a red stripe here, both the VIX and the ES are both going against us. Now, this is a trade that I didn't mark as either a win or a loss. Obviously, it would have been marked as a win. It became non-divergent because all of about 20 shares of the SPY. That was the only reason it became non-divergent. But this is also just a typical reversal pattern right here. And as you can see, in that typical reversal pattern, we had a real-time sell signal at the high. So. If you were going to take that, I wouldn't call it a uh, loss, but for as far as the statisticals for what we're doing right here, I'm not going to call it a win or a loss. The next trade we come into is a long trade here, good for about four and a half points. We follow that up with another long trade here, good for about six points. Here's a bad tick, so we're gonna disregard that. And then going into the end of the day, I didn't mark anything here because it's just two minutes to the close. Following day, again, uh, from the open, we're painting red, but that doesn't actually give us a trade until we're on the lows right here. And again, we take this trade, we get about four and a half points out of it, and what we see is we have this double divergence, and this is a special divergence here with accumulation divergence. And in my opinion, that is something that is a very powerful uh, signal. Right after that, we had a distribution short signal, and since the bars were 50-50, and we would assume that the price is going up. The green would represent the ES and the VIX would still be with us. And actually you can see that the VIX did stay with us this entire time as it went higher. That is unusual, but not unheard of. So that would have been taken as a losing trade. We had the same thing occur to us right here. 
again, the VIX is still rising. The ES is rising at the same time also. So that's why we're getting only red sell signals here is because of the movement of the VIX uh, moving higher. That does take us into a short trade here. Good for seven points. A special divergence short trade here. Good for about 16 points. And a distribution divergence trade here. Good for about six points. Now, here's a very interesting set of trades that are going off. We have distribution short trades and special divergence long trades. This is the one time I couldn't determine why the histogram was basically giving a 50-50 signal. And the only one that was actually clear would be this special divergence long right here because we can see that at the low we had a full green bar right here at the low. So that's the purpose of having both of these templates on here and the template on the right is showing mostly green in this period so the only trade that i can identify is this one right here this is something that i call the boxing pattern because it basically forms a box and we normally see that on the way up we normally see that as prices trading higher, such as the box that's occurring right here. So it's this is actually kind of unusual. And to be fair to what we're looking at, the only trade, as I said, I, I would identify would be that one. We then had this short uh, distribution trade right here where we get about four and a half points. Moving on, we have another short divergence trade. And then really kind of very clearly, we have a special divergence on this side after we get about four points out of that trade, three and a half, four points. And I've put this as a buy because as we can see what's happening right here, it has gone from, and this is really what makes the, the histogram uh, interesting, is as this is going higher, you can see the momentum shifting from short to long. On the chart on the right is a long signal on this bar right here. So I went ahead and marked that as a win. The next trade is a long special divergence. Unfortunately, we have no trade there, followed by another long special divergence trade here. We wouldn't have taken that accumulation trade. We had no green going for us here. We had a short distribution trade here that was successful for about four and a half points. We had a second distribution followed by a third distribution trade here. We're then gonna take a loss on this trade. We were clearly all red going into it the dis with the distribution signal. It's gonna trade probably about three points higher but we got our signal back here and the VIX was red. Follow that up with a long trade, good for a little over seven points. And then nothing into the end of the day. Now Friday, um, from the open, we had this long signal right here. I didn't mark it only because it was just one minute into the open and we have uh, zigzags coming from back here. So I'm not 100% confident that this is a valid signal, although the VIX was definitely going for us. So the first trade that I'm marking is right here. Good for about 18 points. Again, we had this pattern 
where we have both special divergence and accumulation. That trade was good for almost six points. We had another special divergence long trade, good for five. We had another special divergence long trade, good for about 11 and a half points. We had, we followed that up with another special divergence long trade, good for five and a half points. Now, one of the questions that I get asked a lot is how do I know where I'm gonna be taking my trade? Well, what I'm doing is I'm just looking for buying. I'm not gonna get my signal till I'm somewhere in here. And when I get that signal, I'm going to be looking for some buying. So if you want to say that you're going to wait until you have the ES going with you in your favor, well, that's the area right there on this chart. We move over to this chart. It's literally about two ticks off the low. So this is why I like this method. I like this Bloodhound template so much better is it is getting us in very close to highs and lows. So that trade was good for about five points, followed that up with another special divergence long trade there. And what is interesting about both of these trades right here, remember, what I talked about when I explained the, the idea of special divergence. Special divergence is where they are buying them on the way down on market orders. So if you look at this number right here, the number marked KP2, the delta was actually a positive 689,000 shares. And that equates to almost 10,700 shares per penny that dropped right here. So this is a huge sign in and of itself of accumulation that they were so interested to be buyers this entire way down. Same thing with right here, although the number wasn't as extreme as uh, 689,000, it was 106,000 which gives us 2,200 shares per penny on the way down. And that is something that, if, that I would consider to be an accumulation. Conversely, up at the top, we also see two numbers, 3,800, 5,100. Those numbers are also extremely high and we want to look at everything in relative to each other but there were people that wanted to get short on limit orders and that's why we see this 5000 number right here from this long trade right here uh, that's taking us pretty much into the end of the day but as you can see here the number that for the kp2 ratio was 14,000, a little over that. And that is a lot of shares that were shorted on limit orders from this low here to this high here. One last uh, trade, I didn't count this, but again, we want to look at this number. And on this four point pullback, they bought over a million shares and that million shares was absorbed at a rate of almost 25,000 shares per penny. So again, we're seeing some really large numbers. When we got up to here at the close at the high of the day, again, we see a number of 15,000, which is similar to the 14,000 we see back here. These are just very large numbers that a trader should be aware of. Possibly one of the reasons why there was so much 
resistance up there is we were of course making new all-time highs and if you subscribe to the spot gamma service you can see that there was a combo resistance level right up here sitting at 6150 where all that resistance took place at that may have been another reason for the high numbers of resistance once uh, once we got up there so when we go back and look at the win loss ratio there was a total of 40 trades or roughly an 87 percent winning rate for that four day week and of course past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results now if you're wondering the new template is going to be placed on the website shortly what I have to do is completely rewrite the current real-time VIX template because what we're going to have to do is just like we had to add the VIX 9D into the instrument manager, we're going to need to add a couple of other instruments in there as well. So as soon as I can get the web page updated, I will be releasing this Bloodhound template. So if you would like it, please get a hold of me on Skype and I will send it to you. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Have a good day. Bye.